Bugs. I'm Kat, and I'm back with another video. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to make some birria tacos. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to make some delicious birria tacos. Okay, the ingredients you're going to need is a roast. This is an Angus roast, and it is 3 pounds, 14 ounces, some limes. I bought some peeled fresh garlic from Sam's Club. You could use chicken broth, but I didn't have it when I went to the grocery store, I forgot it. But I have some beef broth, so I'm gonna use two cups of beef broth. I got some sazoon seasoning, two onions, some chicken favorite bouillon powder. Then I got some chilies. And right here, I got these from Walmart. Right here, it'll tell you the temperature that you like. I like mild, I don't like really, really hot. So I got these chilies, as well as I got these chilies. And I got these from Kroger's. And I got some chili powder. Got that from Kroger's as well. And then you need a bay leaf. I got dry and as well as fresh, but I haven't decided which ones I want to use. I got some oregano. I got this from the Mexican store. Um, you need some carrots, two onions, one to put on the roast, one I'm going to grill some um, green peppers and onions. You're going to need a measuring cup to measure your two cups of beef broth. You're also going to need some tortilla shells. I prefer flour tortilla shells as well as the medium size. That keeps me from having to make a whole lot of tacos. With the medium, I'll probably only make two for each person. So that saves on time. But you can use whatever size that you decide that you want to use. Now I'm going to wash off my meat. And then I'll show you what the next steps are. Okay, so here's my bouillon seasoning. Here is my chili powder. Here's my oregano. I use five California peppers. And then I use two of the, of the pasalia peppers. I just grabbed a handful of carrots. I use 15 garlic cloves and two onions. So now I'm going to add all of this. To the pot. That, that's two packs of sazon seasoning when I opened them, they tore. So I just want to put them on my meat. So I add I'm adding three and a half cups of broth because I want my meat fully covered. And two and a half cups, I mean two cups didn't look like it was enough for me. So now I'm gonna add my seasoning. Again, I do not measure. So you have to add a little bit at a time or try to eye it out the best of your ability. And then if you need to go back and add more, then do so. My carrots, garlic, and baby. I'm 
going to use my Ninja Slow Cooker. So, um, put it on slow cook. I want the temperature on low. And I'm going to cook this overnight for um, eight hours. And then I'll show you what, what the next steps are in eight hours. Okay, so after eight hours of cooking, this is what my roast looks like. Your next step is to take all of your ingredients out, which is the garlic, carrots, onions, peppers. Um, do not grind up your bay leaf. And put them in a food processor or a blender and grind them up. And I'm going to show you that step. But I just wanted to show you what the meat and the peppers and everything look like before I go to the next step. Okay, so I poured some of the juice off so you can see exactly how the roast looks, cooking it on slow in your Ninja Foodi air fryer pressure cooker for eight hours. I put a little piece of meat on the plate so you can see just by me tapping it with the fork, how it's just falling apart. So if you follow these instructions, your meat will be very, very tender. Okay, so now you see I have all my ingredients in my blender and I'm gonna blend it until it turns into a sauce. Then I'm gonna pour it back over my meat that's in the, in the pressure cooker. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this back in here. I'm going to add a little bit more of the broth that I drained off of the meat in my container. And I'm going to shake it up so I can get all of, I want all of this out of here. do is stir this around in here break my meat up so it can get all of those flavors in it and keep it on warm while I do my consomme sauce for the birria, birria tacos what is wrong with my speech so your meat is done you're just gonna keep it on warm until you make your casame sauce. Okay, before I make my sauce, I forgot to tell you guys, you're going to need a tomato, some fresh cilantro, and some cheese as well for this recipe. I forgot to tell you guys that at the beginning of it, as well as I had some organic cilantro, but that goes into your casame sauce. I also got five peppers and I uh, cut the stems off and took all the seeds out. You're gonna need to do that in order to make your casame sauce. As well as I saved some of my sauce that I had on my meat because I'm gonna add it to my consomme sauce after I get done making it because I want to add some more flavors. I'm doing my own thing on that part because I like my food to be seasoned and I don't want it just to taste like grease. So I got that on the side just in case I taste the consomme sauce and it needs some more flavoring. So I do have that 
on standby, but I'm gonna taste it first, and then if I need to add it, I will. Okay, so I put some meat on the tray, and then I have my tongs ready. Okay, so if you ever get any chopsticks from the Chinese restaurant, do not throw them away. Now you see how the oil is bubbling around the chopsticks? That lets me know my grease is hot enough. So now, you see how my oil is clear? What you're gonna do is add your peppers. I'm gonna turn the oil off, cause it's hot enough. Now you're gonna add your peppers. Okay, so you're gonna leave your peppers in there until they turn black. And after they turn black, you're gonna remove them from the oil. I forgot to tell y'all, I did measure my grease, and that's two cups of oil. So now I'm going to add some chili sauce. I mean, some chili powder. Then I'm going to add some cilantro. I did end up adding half of the sauce to my oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour this in this bowl so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a ladle of my oil and I'm going to take my tortilla shell and then I'm going to flip it over while that side is cooking I'm going to add my meat Kind of put it towards the middle. Then I'm going to add my cheese. And I want some cilantro and onions on the inside of mine. Uh-oh. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. Now I'm going to fold it. Y'all don't use your hands, because you will get burned. And now you're just waiting for your cheese to melt. And that's what it's looking like so far. Let me bring it a little closer. I don't want to tilt it, because I don't want my um, grease to come up. Okay. 
Then you gotta flip it. You know when it's done, so because you can flip it easy, and it looks crunchy like that. And if it's too, um, if it's not firm, when you flip it, all of your stuff is gonna come out. So that's how you know that it's time to flip it. You don't want to burn it. Okay, so this one is done. The cheese is nice and melted. Now I'm ready to put another one in there. Okay, for my next three that I'm ready to make, I poked holes in my tortilla shell. See how it puffs up right there? It'll just eliminate that a little bit. Not that it matters. Obviously, it didn't work because it's still puffing up. I use this cheese. It says. Um, it's farm style thick cut and I used it because it said it had a good melt on it and it really does Turned it over. Looking good, y'all. Looking good. All right, love bugs, and here is the finished product. I have my Casame sauce garnished with some cilantro, tomatoes, onions, and the seasoning is all the way at the bottom. My limes. And my Buria tacos. I made a total of four. The other one is laying all the way back there. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Please share, share, tell your friends about me, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video.